Bell's three largest six-wheel drive articulated dump trucks, the Bell B40E, B45E, and the larger B50E, all have an industry-leading power-to-weight ratio. This contributes to better ground-bearing pressure, excellent fuel economy, and very good performance in difficult terrain. All Bell trucks are built with high-quality components. Bell trucks are powered by Mercedes turbo diesel engines that are stage five, tier four final compliant. The Bell B40E and B45E utilize the Mercedes OM471LA engine. The Bell B40E has 510 horsepower and the B45E has 523 horsepower. The larger B50E is powered by the OM473LA engine and it has 577 horsepower. All these Mercedes engines are equipped with standard Jacobs engine brakes, which helps to preserve your hydraulic wetness brakes for longer and helps significantly with the braking performance of the truck. The new Stage 5 Tier 4 Final After Treatment System on the Bell Articulated Dump Trucks is designed to reduce hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, particulate matter, and nitrogen oxide to near zero emissions levels. In order to achieve this environmentally friendly emission standard, the system uses a combination of exhaust gas recirculation at the engine and a single module system which incorporates three components, an SCR, a DOC, and a DPF or diesel particulate filter. The new stage five engines have three separate types of regeneration. The first level is automatic passive regeneration. The second level is automatic active regeneration. And the third level is a manual regeneration process. For tier four final trucks that do not comply with stage five, this is not required. The first stage of regeneration, also known as automatic passive regeneration, the operator will be driving the truck as normal. There'll be no warning lights, no alarms, and no reason to stop the truck for a manual regeneration. The majority of the time, the operator will have this condition as long as he is working the truck hard and not idling the truck excessively. In the second stage of regeneration, also known as automatic active regeneration, if high exhaust temperatures are not being achieved, the operator can continue to drive, but will be warned through the monitor that it could be necessary to stop the machine and perform a manual regen in the near future. However, he can continue driving and operating the truck until a safe time to stop the truck and perform that manual regeneration. In extreme cases, it may be necessary to perform a manual regeneration process. When this is the case, the operator will be required to park the machine and run the manual regeneration process, which usually takes between 40 to 45 minutes. The Mercedes engine is perfectly matched with the Allison seven-speed automatic transmission. The Allison transmission features seven speeds forward and one speed reverse. It also comes with an automatic lockup clutch, which helps to improve fuel economy when traveling at high speeds. The large Bell trucks are designed with heavy duty front and rear frames. They're supported by three Bell manufactured axle housings and wheel ends with Dana axle shafts, Eaton differentials, and they also have an inner axle differential lock made by Kessler. In addition to that, they have controlled traction differentials, all of which provides great traction control when navigating difficult terrain. The large Bell trucks are equipped with ATC, automatic traction control. This system automatically engages the IDL, inner axle differential lock, and the CTD, controlled traction differentials, anytime wheel spin is detected, and then deactivates it once traction is restored. On the large articulated Bell trucks, they are equipped with outboard mounted wet disc brakes. On the models B40E and B45E, the wet disc brakes are only on the front and middle axle. On the larger B50E, all three axles have wet disc brakes. In addition to the wet disc brakes, the system is designed with a seven stage brake retarder. This can be programmed easily through the SSM inside the cab from anywhere from 25% retardation to 100% retardation. This helps to improve brake life and braking performance for the operator. The large Bell trucks have a unique suspension system designed to maintain constant wheel contact with the ground at all times. 
The Bell B40E and the Bell B45E have dual hydronomatic struts attached to the front axle. On the Bell B50E, we have an adaptive suspension that's fully hydraulic and electronically controlled for maximum operator comfort and ride. The Bell trucks have a unique and proprietary rear suspension system that's comprised of a three-point mounted walking beam system. This system ensures constant wheel contact at all times and allows each of the wheels to move independently from one another. The Bell trucks feature a fully oscillating and articulating center joint between the front and the rear frames. This contributes to better off-road capability, better maneuverability, and a tighter turning radius than rigid frame trucks. Bell trucks are known for great safety features. Two of the most notable safety features include the hill hold, hill assist feature, and the tip safe feature. With the hill hold, hill assist feature, as the operator climbs the hill or goes down a hill, the truck will automatically apply the parking brake when the accelerator is released. The truck will come to a stop with the retarders and the parking brake will be applied. This holds the truck on the hill and prevents potential rollback. Another nice feature is the hill assist. The hill assist feature works when the operator is ready to go back up the hill or down the hill and the truck's own weight prevents the parking brake from being released until enough engine RPM is applied to overcome the torque to move the truck. This is called the hill assist feature. The tip safe feature functions to protect the operator from accidental rollover. When backing in to dump the load, if the rear chassis is rolling more than 15%, which is the standard default setting, then the operator will not be allowed to raise the bin. This setting can be set and programmed from 5 to 25%, but the standard factory recommendation is 15. Bell trucks feature a highly accurate onboard weighing system. This system utilizes three separate strain gauges to measure the load to within 5% accuracy. The system tracks daily production and it can be viewed within the monitor in the counter screen. The information is also uploaded daily to Fleetmatic, Bell's exclusive telematic system. Bell's exclusive telematic system, Fleetmatic, comes with each Bell truck for a period of five years. The user-friendly interface can be seen anywhere in the world with an internet connection. Great information is available through this system, like geolocation information, machine working information, maintenance information, diagnostic information, and others. The system has the ability to set up automated email reports that can be emailed every day to select users. All Bell trucks have FOPS and ROPS certified operators cabs. As you enter the cab, one of the first things that you'll notice is that it has a completely flat floor design. This makes it easy to clean out the floor and it also keeps trip hazards to a minimum. As you sit in the Bell truck, you'll notice many convenience features for the operator. Starting at the steering wheel, you have the ability to tilt the steering wheel to a comfortable position. You can also telescope the steering wheel very easily. At the left of the steering wheel, you'll find a multifunction switch. This switch is used for your left side turn signal and your right side turn signal. It's also used to activate your headlights, your bright lights, and your horn. To the left of that is your radio, and a further left you'll have a couple of cup holders and a 12 volt power supply. Just above on the dash is a large open compartment for storage. You have two small compartments here on either side of the steering wheel for storage. You have another cup holder on the right hand side of the cab. And here is your SSM or sealed switch module keypad. This keypad is used to control most of the major functions of the truck. Starting the truck, stopping the truck, your bin tip functions, your drive functions, your AC and many other things. We'll talk more in depth about this keypad later. To the right of that is what we call the Bell B Drive. The B Drive is what you would use to select through different menus, features, and functions on the monitor. Just above that is your emergency stop switch. If you get into an emergency, you can hit this and it will bring the truck to an immediate and abrupt stop. To release that, you will pull back up on it. To the right of the emergency stop switch, you'll find the mirror adjustment switch. 
This is a unique feature to the Bell trucks and it's very convenient for the operator. You simply select the left or the right side mirror and you can adjust the mirror to a position that's convenient. Really nice feature. Right below the SSM keypad is the hood raise and lower switch and by pressing the up arrow you can raise the engine hood by pressing the down arrow you can lower the engine hood. Bell trucks are equipped with suspended brake and accelerator pedals. This helps to keep the floor clean, reduces the opportunity for debris to collect behind the pedals, and it's a similar design to an automobile. It's also possible to jump start the truck, if need be, from right underneath the left hand side of the front dash. There's a terminal for jump starting the truck. You can also do that on the outside but utilizing a special bell cable, you have the ability to plug that on that terminal and jumpstart the truck. All the bell cabs are designed with a large, full color interactive display with quick menus to get to important information. You can easily access machine configuration menus, machine information data, the counters information for your productivity, your rear view camera, and also diagnostics information. The bell cabs are designed with a very comfortable operator seat. It's an air suspension seat that's heated. You have the ability to make a lot of different adjustments and it'll fit just about any operator. One of the things that you can do is adjust the air suspension. So you can increase the air and you can decrease the air. You can also adjust the entire seat console forward and backwards. You have the ability to adjust the angle of the seat. You can adjust the length of the seat you have lumbar adjustments available to you and you can also set the shock absorber on or you can release it. There's also an adjustment for the horizontal suspension which allows your seat to slide forward a little bit and backward a little bit when you're driving. On the left side of the operator seat is a jump seat or a trainer seat. This is a great feature when you're training new operators on the job site. It's very easy to fold up or down. 